Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Worldwide Review for the 21st of uh, February 1993. We've got nearly, uh, actually over 1,400 of these now worth checking out. Uh, old school, new school, all points of wrestling in between. And uh, we are, we got about at least uh, 15 or so more of these left for you to check out. Then we're going to go back in time a little bit and, and try to fill in some gaps. Anyway, February 20th, 1993 is this particular edition. Uh, open with Paul Orndorff. Orndorff, certainly a guy that uh, most people would be reasonably excited to have in the ring. Johnny B. Bad getting an opportunity with him, and they actually feud for the next little while over the next several months here. Orndorff, I believe, eventually becoming the television champion. Orndorff uh, goes to work on the arm of Bad with uh, both arm bars, arm drags, and, and the like, and then the bad hits an uh, inverted atomic or a regular atomic drop, a la Bob Backlund in the 80s. Uh, don't see that many atomic drops anymore these days in the sport. Kind of a sad thing. Interesting that moves don't uh, translate generation to generation, I suppose. Back elbow by um, Johnny B. Bad, and again, uh, some pretty big thing. Big, um, big, uh, pile driver eventually by, um, Orndorff, who gets a victory there. Uh, then we go to more hype with Sting and Vader, uh, obviously going to the White Castle of Fear goofiness that comes up, which is the strap match that main events Super Brawl 3. We move to, uh, another enhancement talent match, John Peterson here. Uh, against what ends up being Lord Steven Regal. I believe he's still a babyface at this point, though. I don't think he does the Lord Steven thing for another couple of weeks. English style, uh, European uppercuts, uh, hop over, and really basic stuff. Grabs a head, takes a head. And um, Regal certainly not a guy who wants to take a backward step unless he absolutely has to. Kicks to the midsection and other things. Regal with a roll up pinning attempt after a couple of uppercuts and a victory there. Uh, I think the plan originally was to get him over as a babyface, and it just didn't work out. I don't really ever remember hearing there be talk of, uh, of to the contrary. Anyway, Shane Douglas in with Sergeant Butterly, Buddy Lee Parker. Douglas uh, moving a little bit away from the tag team division for a couple of weeks. Not permanently, but just, just for a little while. Uh, and Parker is in a headlock position for a couple of minutes. Doesn't exactly go the way he wants it to go. Uh, Douglas remains on his opponent pretty steadily and aggressively for the next little while. Um, ultimately, we see that uh, Douglas gets a snap suplex up and uh, hanging in the air for Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas then again uh, manages to um, make a basically make the uh, sign of promise to his father. Uh, he eventually does get a couple of elbow drops and eventually gets a victory uh, soon thereafter. Um, Douglas, of course, former tag team champion at this point, uh, but uh, having some, some challenges of difficulty there. Uh, doesn't exactly land on his feet on the attempt that's there, belly-to-belly -belly suplex, as was taught to him by one uh, Magnum TA eventually, and uh, there we go. Hype for Super Brawl 3 is in the control center there. They continue to uh, make that seem like a really big show with the return of Ric Flair, among other things. Of course, Flair uh, gone, you know, pretty simply. Ten-minute time limit for the uh, WCW uh, Television Championship Tournament. Max Payne and Marcus Bagwell. Uh, Bagwell hits some hip tosses early. Payne uses power where Bagwell uses speed. Bagwell still... Your white meat baby face in the in this era and uh, uh, spins around, comes up and over, and again we see Bagwell with a couple of uh, arm uh, bars after some drop to hold work. Um, Payne obviously having the power advantage and also able to backdrop Bagwell tries to slow him down and keep him off his feet, so to speak. Uh, uses the hair to his advantage upon occasion as well. Uh, Payne eventually gets the um, attempted modified victory. Doesn't get all he wants with the back elbow by Bagwell. And uh, things kind of go a little off kilter. Uh, Bagwell 
as the guy missed him, and that doesn't go very well either. Uh, but eventually Max Payne does score the victory and advances into the next uh, segment of things. Barry Windham up next, mere days before his uh, Super Brawl run here. Uh, Wyndham, of course, doing the leather jacket thing, doing more heelish stuff. Ricky Steamboat is his main opponent here this week, and that is a super match. Match worth going out of your way to see. Power by Wyndham, speed by Steamboat, styles clash, and they have a history that goes back, obviously, to the, uh, the, the clash deal back in November, December of the previous year, but also just a history of, uh, Steamboat stepping in to be a mystery partner going all the way back to 1991. Good story there. Back suplex by Steamboat. And uh, he is pretty dominant of his opponent. Half Crab by Steamboat follows up. Uh, needless to say that uh, Wyndham is not a easy guy to deal with here. He'll use every cheating tactic he can. Tries to get under the uh, auspices and, and use, you know, cheating tactics including the ropes and other things, grinding his opponent's eyes and throat against the turnbuckle. Uh, gut wrench suplex by um, Wyndham doesn't get him the advantage he wants for very long, but then it turns into a brawl, and because of his size and weight advantage, uh, Wyndham has the advantage there. Uh, attempted suplex and gets him over, does Steamboat here. Uh, then we see Dustin Rhodes uh, post-match because of the uh, cheating, get involved in that match and the U.S. Championship there. Uh, but um, uh, indeed, Wyndham does get a victory right before the uh, big Super Brawl deal going forward. Vader is out next, and Vader uh, has a cu only a couple of minutes squash match here. Choke slam, power bomb, basic stuff. Vader looks to be in top condition. After a military press with the choke slam and all the other stuff uh, in top condition, mere days before the uh, White Castle of Fear strap match with Sting, uh, and that continues to be the central focus, obviously going forward there. Uh, Vader really whipping the heck out of the enhancement talent. Um, Sting finally does make his way uh, out or do, does not get a chance to make his way out before we go off the air. Uh, Vader once again choking his opponent over the top rope with the strap, and there we go. Uh, we'll be back with more right after this.